Hello everyone and welcome to this episode of Ignition Time. Welcome to our channel everyone. In this episode of Ignition Time, I'm going to tackle the extremely complex, the extremely challenging subject of vaccine mandates. Folks, if there's one thing you've come to expect from the Ignition Time channel, it's honesty and it's covering the difficult subjects. Now, I want you to know that I think that vaccines work and I think most individuals, if they are comfortable with it, should get it. Now, if you don't want to get the vaccine, I get it. You have your reasons for not getting it. In fact, if you have religious or healthcare related reasons, you don't have to get it. But I just want our viewers and subscribers to know that vaccines do work. However, what politicians do is they take these vaccine mandates and they weaponize them. They politicize them. Now, Governor Ron DeSantis from Florida said this about vaccine mandates. It's destroying trust in public health. It's really, really negative. Now, I want you to know that I don't agree with him, but I do want to present all sides in this episode of Ignition Time. Let's roll the tape and hear from the one and only Ron DeSantis, the governor of Florida. Let's watch. So I think the coercion is just totally wrong. I think it's destroying trust in public health to the extent that there was still trust left over after what all the stuff that's been done. But I think it's really, really negative, And I think you're going to end up uh, driving people away. Yep, that was Ron DeSantis. In the meantime, the Southwest Airlines CEO, Gary Kelly, says, I quote, he's never been in favor of corporations imposing that kind of mandate, but he defers to President Biden's COVID vaccine mandate for federal workers. So you can start to see that what a lot of CEOs are doing is they're trying to walk the fine line between having their cake and eating it too and finding cover behind what the president of the United States has been has been proposing. Let's roll the tape and hear from Southwest Airlines CEO Gary Kelly. Let's watch. I've never been uh, in favor of corporations imposing that kind of a mandate. I'm not in favor of that, never have been. Uh, but the executive order from President Biden mandates that all federal employees and then all federal contractors, which covers uh, all the major airlines, uh, have to have a mandate in a vaccine in place by December the 8th. So we're working through that. Here's another segment where Kelly says that vaccine mandate had zero contribution to airline cancellations this weekend. And he said, when you get behind, it just takes several days to catch up. Let's roll the tape and hear what Gary Kelly had to say. Zero. I mean, again, we look at all of our employee behaviors in terms of absenteeism, uh, in terms of people volunteering uh, to come in and pick up what's referred to as open time. And they're very they're all very normal uh, the president of our pilots union has been out talking to the media uh, confirming all of that so i think people again that that understand how airlines work when you get behind it just takes several days to catch up now shifting gears from from ceos to politicians governor tate reeves who's a republican from mississippi had this to say on texas and florida governors banning covid vaccine mandates he said I would support such legislation should it get to my desk. Let's roll the tape and hear from Governor Tate Reeves, the Republican. Let's watch. Executive order is one way in which to um, to uh, rid ourselves of these mandates. Uh, another p potential is, is legislation. Uh, that's one of the things that um, Florida did, for instance, as a state, is their legislature passed a law which said uh, these vaccine mandates were not allowable. I would support such. Um, uh, legislation should it get to my desk. And he's not done yet. Reeves, the Republican, was blaming vaccine mandates that were put in place to protect workers and patients. And he said these vaccine mandates are causing shortages in healthcare workers. He said, I quote, it's hard for common folks like me to understand how we have this major shortage, yet you're laying off major numbers of your staff. So as you can imagine, politicians are trying to connect vaccines with shortages of workers, which is a problem that we are facing in our country. Let's roll the tape and see the weaponization of something as simple, as fundamental, and as monumental an achievement as the COVID vaccine. Let's roll the tape and hear from Governor Tate Reeves, the Republican. Let's watch. Much of the um, loss of uh, staffing at the hospital level uh, over the last 30 to 60 days, I think, has been uh, driven by um, some of these vaccine mandates that are that are being required at certain facilities, not all, but at certain facilities. I saw uh, in the state of New York there was one hospital that literally laid off what two or three thousand employees. Um, it's hard, it, it's hard for um, uh, common folks like me to understand um, how we have this major shortage yet you're laying off major 
numbers of your staff. So now the White House press secretary Jen Psaki was in no mood to put up all this, and she fired back. In fact, she fired back at Governor Greg Abbott, the Republican from Texas, and she said that him banning all COVID vaccine mandates was, I quote, politics. Let's roll the tape and hear from the one and only White House press secretary Jen Psaki. Let's watch. Jen, clearly Governor Abbott knows that federal rules supersede state rules. So why do you think he did this? Politics. Well, I think it's pretty clear when you make a choice that's against all public health information and data out there uh, that you, it's not based on what is in the interest of the people you are governing. Uh, it's perhaps uh, in the interest of your own politics. Now, she did have something to share about Governor Ron DeSantis, a Republican from Florida, and like I mentioned earlier, Governor Greg Abbott, the Republican from Texas, opposing vaccine mandates. She said it puts these two leaders out of step with a history of vaccine mandates, but also many business leaders in their states. What she's trying to say is, hey, there have been other presidents who have mandated vaccines and many business leaders. And by the way, I did talk about the Southwest Airlines CEO. Many business leaders are essentially saying, hey, we want vaccines amongst our workers. And she said, hey, these politicians are not in touch with what business leaders want and the past history of vaccine mandates. Now, I want you to know that politicians tend to weaponize almost everything. And it's no surprise that this vaccine is being weaponized by politicians. Let's roll the tape and hear from Jen Psaki. Let's watch. There are vaccine requirements that have been implemented for decades in these states. Uh, so these decisions put uh, these two leaders out of step with uh, both longtime requirements, uh, a history of vaccine mandates, but also many business leaders in their states uh, and many uh, businesses that are based in their states. In another, in another segment, Jen Psaki said that Governors Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis, when they are opposing federal vaccine mandates, are, I quote, putting politics ahead of public health. Let's take a look at this again because this is extremely important. Let's watch. Governor Abbott's executive order uh, banning mandates and I would also note announcement by Governor DeSantis this morning essentially banning the implementation of mandates uh, fit a familiar pattern uh, that we've seen of putting politics ahead of public health. Now, she also addressed, Jen Psaki also addressed vaccine mandates causing Southwest airline cancellations. She called them absolutely false and applauds mandates that, I quote, save lives. Let's roll the tape and hear from Jen Psaki. I know there was a little um, hubbub over the course of the last few days uh, about uh, Southwest Airlines. We now know that some of those claims were absolutely false and actually the issues were uh, completely unrelated to vaccine mandates. But again, what we've seen business to business across the country is this is the way to save lives, create more certainty. It's good for the economy and it's something we're looking forward to implementing. Now, one person who's been hammering the White House over vaccine mandates is the one and only troublemaker, Ted Cruz, a Republican from the state of Texas. And Jen Psaki had this to say about Ted Cruz. She said, and this is sarcastically, world-renowned business travel and health expert center Ted Cruz has made that point. And she's talking about vaccine mandates reducing the workforce. This is Jen Psaki being sarcastic about the one and only Ted Cruz, the Republican from Texas. Let's watch. What's the White House response to people who say vaccine mandates have... Um reduce the workforce and contributed to this problem? Well, I know uh, world-renowned um, business travel and health expert Senator Ted Cruz has made that point, but um, I wouldn't say that that is widely um, uh, acknowledged or echoed uh, by um, business leaders who have implemented these mandates. So folks, that's where we are right now. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. This is uh, pretty incredible. The day and age that we live in, something as fundamental as vaccines are being weaponized and are being politicized. And unfortunately, this is the reality of the divisive climate that we live in. Thank you so much for watching. Please click the like button. Please subscribe. Please enable notifications. My name is Dr. Nitin Choda with Ignition Time. I want you to know I work hard on this channel every single day to bring you the latest news and to bring you the truth, wherever the truth might lead us. Please do me a favor. Click the like button. Click subscribe. Please enable notifications because that does support the channel. Joseph and Jeanette, my phenomenal team of video editors, work hard on this channel, as does Jay, who designs all our thumbnails and is responsible for the design of our channel. Thank you so much. Again, please click like, please click subscribe, please enable notifications. This right here is my Twitter feed. Follow me on Twitter. My Twitter handle is ignition underscore time. That's ignition underscore time. Thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to seeing you in the next episode of Ignition Time. Take care. Bye.